NASA is reporting today that a strong to severe geomagnetic storm is now in effect following a massive X19 solar flare and coronal mass ejection. The sunspot is 60,000 miles wide in diameter, many times larger than the Earth. The flare erupted from sunspot cycle 1302 on Saturday, September 24th and triggered spectacular auroras and electromagnetic storms across North America. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded this extreme ultraviolet flash. On the 26th, NASA detected a strong compression of the Earth's magnetic field. Satellites above can now be directly exposed to solar wind plasma. Travis Nowitzki took this picture of the night sky from his home in northeastern Minnesota. He may note a vertical columns extending high in the sky with lots of green and red color. Since the X-flare, there's also been two other M-class flares, also from Sunspot Region 1302. The sunspot region is not slowing down as it is being called the sunspot that just won't quit. As the week wears on, it will turn to face Earth directly. NOAA forecasters estimate a 40% chance of more X flares during the next 24 hours. Any such eruptions would be Earth directed. NASA is also saying that a heavy blow could also damage all electronics on Earth. Now, here are some of the things taking place right now. On September 24th, Chile was hit by a massive blackout. The cause is reported to be unknown. The blackout primarily hit the center of the country, where nearly 10 million of Chile's 16 million people live. Days ago, NASA reported that their UARS satellite crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Earlier, they estimated that it had a 1 in 3,200 chance of causing injury. Today, it's being reported that a dead German satellite is set to hit the planet at the end of October, and that it's even more likely to cause injury or damage in populated areas. They're estimating that as a... Uh, one in 2,000 chance. Now, a lot of this information is coming from NOAA and NASA. NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center is reporting much of this from Colorado, home of the now infamous labyrinth of bunkers set up to function as a continuity of government command center. The CIA moved from Langley, Virginia to Colorado several years ago. The mountains of Colorado just so happens to be where NASA is hosting a massive simulated exhibit of the International Space Station. All of this as Obama is scheduled to be in Denver, while at the same time Homeland Security runs a joint response drill and as conversations about common elanine reach a record high. Also tonight, the new moon is going to make a close approach to Earth, giving rise to the second supermoon of the year, although it will be cloaked in darkness due to its position. Tuesday's supermoon will be about 222,000 miles away from the Earth, there is widespread belief that being this close to the moon during this time could have unusual gravitational effects on Earth, triggering earthquakes and other events. Lunar close encounters are well known to cause high ocean tides. 
For the UNN Newsroom, I'm Alex Hansery.